How about we wait then? 3rd of October. We'll let them attack them. That is hills. Is there also a river? Um, there's also a river. So those guys should have good defense. We'll then join them uh, once they've attacked. I'm going to have to wait for them to attack though. I'm sorry my allies. I'm going to have to use you. I won't attack yet because I know if I attack they won't attack. I caught my young ward Devon torturing a rat behind the stables today. Devon Seaworth, what would your father think? Let the lad have his fun with the birch. Talk to him about kindness. I'm probably going to take the birch. <laughs> I could imagine Stan Stannis though is... Hmm. What would Stannis do in this situation? Yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't think it's uh, fun. Talk to him about kindness. We'll talk to him about kindness, I think. Yeah, he's become kind. It, so that's what I'm trying to say. I, I try to roleplay, but sometimes it's really hard to know what the best option would be. Okay, 25th. There we go. See, they have the advantage of the hills and stuff, river crossing. If we attack with them, that battle is won. The north has been won. 15th of October, they need to hold off for a while. Edma has been defeated. The riverlands have been given to Littlefinger for his continued loyalty to the Lannisters. He's married a Malcolm. Okay, and the Freys have been given River Run. Damn them. What to do? Poor Tullys. I mean, Stannis doesn't care so much, but still. I can imagine the hold off, that's good. Please don't lose too many men before we get there. They're about to lose a lot of men. A lot of stun. The Rivermen, yes. Okay, there we go. Perfect, that was probably just in time. Prince Duran of Dawn accepted Queen Daenerys' call to arms in it. What? What is going on? Uh, Canets have joined. Excellent. Okay. This is going to be... This is bad, actually. We have a uh, low... We have low morale. But what the hell's going on in Dawn? Duran's joined two wars? He's helping da da Daenerys. Oh, my God. It happened. I, I never see this happen. Daenerys Stormborn has married Quentin Martell. He did it. Duran sent Quentin to marry Daenerys, and she accepted. Oh my god, there's a Daenerys Martell alliance. He's helping Aegon, who says he's a Targaryen. This is just. Oh my god, the Dornish are really getting involved. Okay. But let's just see. Come on, guys. You got the you got the advantage of the hills and the rivers. Come on. Okay, looks like we're doing well. We got this. Yes. Thank God. Okay, looks like the Lady Mormont died. But the Mormonts are gonna join us still. Excellent. Thank you, Mormons. Your continued loyalty will be remembered. Okay. Farin was like, oh no. Where was uh, Godric? Godric, he wasn't it. Oh, okay. So was slain by Lord Roderick of Flint's finger in personal combat. Oh no. Flint killed him. But he's going to again support us. Thank you. It's good to have the continued loyalty. They say Daenerys now rides Drogon into battle. Oh my god. She still has a lover though. She hasn't given Quentin a dragon. That would be hilarious. I would love to see her give Quentin a dragon. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's hilarious. Okay, they've now got the advantage now. But, okay, we lost a lot of men. But that battle has won us the war. In the north, at least. Come on, let's keep going. Just continue to follow them. Let's break them completely. Um, High Lordship of the Fingers. Okay, this has gone well, actually, so far. I was a bit worried to begin with. Stannis is not in a good position. I was told before I started that it's a very difficult war. But so far, it's going our way. There we go. We'll defeat them here. We got there first as well, which is kind of funny. Ah, Rickard fell. Failed to answer my call to arms. Oh, his brother was killed by Hoston Trent of Drunkard's Tower. Wow, he's a pretty good fighter for someone who's so drunk. But they won't join us now. Damn it, I'm losing my allies. They keep dying. Okay, Farron, again, he's joining us. I thought you already said that, but... Okay, going to Dreadfort. That's fine. We want to go to Dreadfort anyway. Perfect. So we're going to now capture the Dreadfort. Uh, Roos Bolton is there. So hopefully we can capture Roos. Roos, 
Your reign is over. <laughs> um, our allies are now here, the Crossing and Sea Guard. Yep, looks like we defeated the North. Uh, here comes Tarth. Completely forgot about Tarth. What are the Riverlands doing? They're trying to attack Southstone. Okay, Littlefinger's trying to get people back into his control. How's the Reach doing? Oron's Crow's Eye is still winning. That's good. But the Martells are now coming into the Stormlands to really support Aegon. He's only at 9%. But that's still a worry. My allies have defeated the Lannisters who attacked us in Dragonstone. Excellent. Okay, things are going good. I'm liking this so far. Okay, let's continue. Ah. Whoa, Dickon inherited Brightwater. How did that happen? How did he inherit Brightwater? But he's supporting us. <laughs> I, I had no idea. How did Dickon Tali inherit Brightwater? And why is his heir Talatali? What the hell just happened here? Why have you been disinherited? I've, let's look at the history here. Died in battle against Lady Paramount Cersei of the Westerlands. What? Uh, inherited. So you had it. Ah, then the wife was the woman married to him. Ah, the Tali's now Brightwater. Wow, this is this is already getting a bit hectic. We've only just started this. He sowed distrust. That's excellent. Very good so far. Okay, we're here. The Dreadfall. Excellent. They'll come into our armies. We'll destroy them. Good going, Stannis. Good going. We have enough men to take the Dreadfall. Okay, we'll just do that then. Uh, they have hardly any men now, but there's some men up here. Peasant Revolt. That's fine then. Okay, we'll just take the Dreadfall. I'm just going to stay here and take the Dreadfall. Um, I see just causing your struggle. Piper! Imprisoned by the cross. <laughs> okay, so he's imprisoned by the crossing, so they decided to join us. Acorns Ridge, excellent. What? Uh, okay, Ron just died. He was killed by Blueburn. Excellent, my allies killed Bron. Good job, guys. They obviously killed him. Oh no, they're attacking Dragonstone. But Robert Aaron just died, and so Harold Aaron has just become ruler. See, like I said, this is already getting a bit crazy. Maybe we should send someone to get you. Improve relations with Harold Aaron. He's now a possibility to join us. Davos is still off on a quest. Yeah, he's still off on an adventure, apparently. But yeah, excellent. Things are actually going really good. There's a lot of possibilities right now. Hopefully it just goes our way. How are you doing, Jon Snow? Okay, the White Walkers are winning. That's uh, not good. But don't worry, we'll come back later. My lord, we received word that the suspected traitor Sansa Stark has been found. She apparently has been in the care of Lord Paramount Peter Baelish since she vanished after King Joffrey's murder. She has now been revealed by Lord Paramount Peter, who no doubt has ambitions on the North. And she married her to Harold Aaron, the Lord of the Vale. What are you planning, little finger? What are you planning, you sneaky devil? Okay, yep, that's the last of his armies, it looks like. Let's just check. Yeah, he only has 2,000 men. That's fine. I let, my, I let my allies just clean up. We'll take the Dreadfort. It's fine. It's done. Ah, Erin Flon wants to get married. Marry as you please. All my people want to get married. Okay, there we go. My allies are just going to clean this up for us. Good job. Excellent. I'm going to have to remember all the people. I have to try and remember all their names. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we've got Glovers. You know, the Northmen up here have helped us. Obviously, the Malisters have been very good to us. So is the <laughs> so is the phrase. And uh, obviously Acorns Ridge, because they are being forced to help us, but still. A lot of people in the Stormlands are helping us. We're Tarth, obviously. Estamonts did not join. Hmm, we'll have to remember that. But yeah, there's a lot of Dornishmen up here. 
Aegon's going to gain a lot of... Oh, we're beating the Iron Throne by 45% at the moment. Marry as you please. But they do have con they are attacking Dragonstone, but hopefully they cross. They'll attack across a strait. That might just be enough for our allies. If they can defeat them... Oh, but... Oh, but Brightwater's not attacking them. They're not involved in this war, apparently. Damn. That's bad. If they take Dragonstone, uh, we're at 45% as well. We've actually almost defeated the Iron Throne already. Tali's finally come to the north. Excellent. I've lost way too many men, though, personally. That is a problem. Black Tide has been inherited by Aaron Crozai. Ah, Swans have joined us. Thank you. I was just looking at the Stormlands who didn't join me. So good for you. Okay. Righteous Imprisonment, Barber. Don't know who Barber is. Nothing else to do, really. Nothing else I need to do. This is going to take a while to take the Dreadfort, I think. Uh, Swiger has joined us. Thank you very much. Oh, looks like my allies just lost a battle. God damn it. The Catherines have joined us. They should be careful, though, uh... They should be careful. There's a lot of Dornishmen and Aegon is still here, so uh, they should really be careful. Oh, looks like Mace is turning the war around. <gasps> Loras, the Knight of Flowers, died again. Whoa. Elwood is doing a good job defending uh, Dragonstone, though he lost that last battle. That's going to hurt us, though. The Lannisters can start taking that. Um... Garland the Gallant has been imprisoned by Euron Crozai. Wow. Okay, things turned a bit sour for the Tyrells. Mace could not be happy about this. Poor Mace. Poor Mace indeed. Things are going well for me, though. Okay, Stademan has joined us. Thank you. Ah, excellent. Esteban, everyone's starting to join us now. Everyone can see we can do this. Everyone can finally see Stannis is the rightful king. Ah, greetings, Lord Paramount Stannis. I have a, a proposition which I'm sure won't fail to catch your keen attention. Simply put, a new title for you and money for us. We need the money owed from your enemies, and I'm sure you can pay. Isn't it a fair deal? All right, we gain 500 gold if uh, we win. We have to pay 1,000 gold. That's a 1,000 debt from Tommen. 25% interest. You shall be granted some mercenaries by the Iron Bank. Yes. There we go. We have 610 gold. And we've just got 10,000 men. Perfect. Stannis is leading both these men. That makes no sense. Okay, let's change this. Uh, Godry Farin, the Giant Slayer. You shall lead these men. Uh, why am I... I'm here... That's so stupid. Okay, we'll just leave it for now. But yeah. Um, okay, let's put me back on here then. Just because I want to be in an army right now. We'll change it after. That's perfect. If we get 10,000 men, we've got 610 gold. We're going to have to owe a lot to the Iron Bank, but that's fine for now. Okay, perfect. But we need to defeat the North as quick as possible. At the moment, the Lannisters are really fighting back against us. The Follans have joined us. Good going, Follards. Renly said that everyone denied my rule. Now that will end. People will finally see I'm a king. It was my right. Ren I have to admit, though, like I said before, though, I, I like Stannis as a character because I think he's a really interesting one. The whole thing that, you know, he's meant to be like an honorable man and he believes in honor and justice, but he kills his own brother because I, I think this is kind of a, a big thing. It's kind of like Jamie, isn't it? When Jamie said... You have all these vows, you know, honor thy father, king slaying, protect the king. What are you meant to do? And so technically, Renly's, you know, a, a traitor. Renly's a traitor. And, but he's his brother. So Stannis has to kill him. It's a really interesting dynamic. And he decides, obviously, to kill him. Um, which I guess is the similar idea that Jamie did. So, I mean, if you think... Stannis is honourable, maybe that means Jamie's honourable, you know, stuff like that. And I, I think it's a really interesting dynamic and the whole things he has to deal with, like, 
he has to make really tough decisions because you know he's been told that he has to save the realm, and to save the realm, he must become king, which is his, his birthright, technically. it's It should be his, by birth. So it's a really interesting dynamic here, but the whole, like, rights and stuff is kind of a silly thing anyway, because people have said, you know, Daenerys is technically also the, the claimant to the Iron Throne, but she her family lost it to conquest. So it, it's a very confusing thing. At the Arryns, what's the Arryns bloody doing here? Ah, they've joined Jon Snow's War for Dawn. Wow, if the Arryns can get up there, that would be amazing. <laughs> okay, so the Arryns are going to go fight. They're the only ones to go and help Jon Snow, basically. Wow, and we lost a lot of men to attrition. Damn. That's upsetting, but there's not much I can do about that. Um, yeah, let's go this way. But we've almost got the Dreadfort, so that's fine. Of about 10,000 men afterwards. Um, yeah, that's a different war. 10,000 men come from the Vale. They might make a big difference here, actually. And we captured the Dreadfort, but we did not capture Roose Bolton. Leading troops in Barrington. Why do we not have him? I do not know, but we got 86%, so uh, it's basically done off a piece. He will not let us enforce demands. Leading troops in Barrington, yep. So they're both still around. Should probably go destroy them then. Where's Barrington here? Yeah, they've gone down to Barrowtown. How about we keep sieging this? What about Winterfell? Winterfell has got a, a lot of soldiers. How about we just go down here then? Okay. 86%. Uh, John Snow again wants to call us. I'm sorry, John. I said we've made our decision. Ah. But don't worry, the Vale's coming. They might be able to help you. Though I did want them to help me. Oron Crozai, he's still winning this war. Of what's going to happen to Garland the Galliant? I saw something happen to Castamere. Okay, the Westlings still control that. His. Oh, so they were given Castamere, or at least inherited it. Don't know what happened there. I'll have to check later. Right now we're just trying to concentrate on this war. Hopefully my allies can just go finish them off. I would kind of like that. It's like Euron is slowly sieging them out. Minus 56 to A Aegon. This is not looking good. <laughs> they're just sieging us out. And they're taking Driftmark. That's a shame. This is bad. The south is really going badly for us, but there's not much I can do about that. We have to defeat the north first. Come on, guys. Let's finish this off. We have to take this back. Okay, my ward Devon has turned into an arrogant little braggart. I might have to rein him in a little bit. He has reason to be proud. Um, the Lord of Light will cure him of this. Well, what, what does Stannis think of being proud? He's proud himself. Yeah, he's reason to be proud. He's a, his father's a good man. And he's being warded by the true king. What about, what was Davos? Uh, Davos is still away. Okay. Uh, I have to keep a close eye actually on up here. Because actually our capital's here. So if that got taken, we'd actually be very in trouble. <laughs> so I should probably keep an eye on that. Uh, ooh, some Reachmen. Rivers. They've decided to join us. Interesting choice. Okay, guys, let's go defeat these 1,000 men. That should give us like 90%. And we're almost there. And we can march south for our rightful claim. Go, Stannis. Defeat all these traitors. Victory. Excellent. 95%. Ooh. 95%. Good job, my allies. Make sure that you join me in the coming war with Tommen. And the Lannisters. But Tom is doing... Jo Tom has a lot of men around at the moment. Dawn has like 16,000 men joining Aegon. 62%. This is going to be a race against time. Who can get the Iron Throne first? Is it going to be me, Aegon, or Tommen? Okay, we've almost got this place as well. Selyse? Selyse! No! My wife, she died. Well, that means we can get remarried. 
And I did not realize you were being educated by her. That was a terrible idea. Let's get you good at intrigue. Melisandre definitely should. Melisandre should definitely educate her. I'm unmarried. Well, I guess we should look into after this war with the North. Yes, we've done it. Perfect. Goodbye, Boltons. And it's done. We have won the war for the North. There we go. The Boltons have been defeated. The North is now under my dominion. However, the Northmen have little love for their rightful king. If I were to raise one of them to be Lord of Winterfell and the North, they would surely respect me more. By rights, they should follow me anyway. If you grant the North to a Northman in the next 10 days, they will join you in the struggle for the Iron Throne. Excellent. So there we go. Okay, let's send our guys down to the neck. So I need to choose someone now. Stannis is a big believer in kind of people who are honorable, who we can trust. 